بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ مائکروسافٹ ایکسل دیٹ ہاؤ کوڈ وی کیلکولیٹ دا ویلیو آف ٹیکس ان اے ورک شیٹ سو بائی یوزنگ ایبسلوٹ سیل ایڈریس سو لیٹ سی ہاؤ کوڈ وی کیلکولیٹ ٹیکس ویلیو by using absolute cell address in Excel. So let's move towards the sheet. I have already stored a sheet. In that sheet, we have different values. For example, this one is United Software Company. And we have different columns. You can see there is a software title. For example, Windows 7 and Microsoft Office 2013 antivirus accounting software etc and in another column you can see there is a price column in price they have mentioned different values for example windows 7 for 50 microsoft office for 13 30 sorry antivirus for 20 and accounting software for 20 40 so these are different values but there is no currency that is mentioned with those values. So how could we recognize the price in different uh, currencies? For example, if I should insert a dollar sign, so it would be clear that this one is $50. So how could we insert a currency into a Microsoft Excel sheets? So it's very easy. You have to select a particular column or cell in which you want to insert the currency symbol for example, I want to insert dollar sign into my price column. So I will select the particular area. Then I will click, right click from the mouse or from the tablet or laptop. So you will have a menu. In that menu, you will find the option format cell. So click on the format cell option. Then you will have a dialog box and it has different tabs so you have click on the number tab that is already active in that number tab you will find the third option that one is currency so i will choose the currency option then i will have the different currency signs here so i want to select dollar sign so you will find the dollar sign dollar us dollar or there is different you can see us dollar english us dollar canada etc so you can insert dollar sign for example united state this one and after select selecting the dollar sign you have to click ok so you will have a dollar sign with the currency column you can see with the currency dollar sign is there with a price column now you want to calculate the tax value of for for example column number seven we have a value of c7 column that is 50 dollar price of windows 7 so i want to calculate the tax on 50 dollar for example the value of tax is 0 0.07 percent so how could we calculate the value of tax from $50? So by using absolute cell address, I will calculate the tax value. First of all, equal to sign, then select the column in which you want to calculate the 0.07% uh, tax. That is C7. That one is C7. Clear, students? When I write the C7, then the C7 cell is highlighted. You can see. After that, you have to multiply. Then I'm going to use the absolute cell address. The method of absolute cell address is that you have to use dollar sign. After that, the cell address where the value is located, for example, that is an other location. So that is C, again C column, and again dollar sign. After that, you have to mention the 
call uh, C column. After that, you have to mention the row. So the row is C5. So you have to mention 5. Look, when I press the 5, then that area is highlighted. That one is absolute cell address. So after that, I will press enter. So you will see that it will calculate automatically x value that is 3.5 dollar on 50 dollar you have to pay 3.5 dollar percent tax because the tax value is 0.7 percent 0.07 percent so i have applied that formula by using absolute cell address to calculate the tax value so i want to implement that tax value on all the values of the software for example ms office 2013 price antivirus and accounting software so there is no need to write that formula again you have to implement or apply that formula on to other uh, cell values so you have to just select and drag down from where you want to calculate the tax value of the particular software price price after that release you will see that automatically it will calculate the tax price on different software values that is 0.07 percent so in this way students you can calculate the tax value by using absolute cell address i hope that you are understood and you will apply that formula into your worksheet and i hope that you will be successful so in the next class we will discuss some new topic a new topic related to the microsoft excel 2013 and 16. until that allah Hafiz signing out